Hi, my name is Tori and I'm from Utah. As I'm reading, I'm wondering what defines a disciple and how can I know that I'm on the right path to becoming one? Well, the word in the New Testament for disciple is mathetes, and mathetes can be uh, translated as a student as well. And I, I really like that connotation, but it's, it's not always in the same way as we think of what it means to be a student. In, in antiquity, a student was somebody who studied with a master teacher, right? Now you think about that, a master teacher, we know sometimes we don't use it very much, but if we talk about a master plumber or a master carpenter, there's somebody is, there are people who are carpenters, but a master carpenter has, has gone to another level. And so um, to be a disciple is to study with one of these master teachers, not for four years or five years that we think of in terms of education, but until one becomes the master teacher. So when I'm thinking about what is a disciple, it is somebody who is continuing to learn. Um, about uh, Jesus Christ and what he teaches and how I can learn to be like him. But this is a journey that goes over a, a lifetime. So for me, the, the real issue is, am I continuing to learn? Um, have I, am I, or am I just stepping on plateaus? Am I still looking for deeper, um, more important uh, ways to think about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ or a student from him? Tom? Yeah, I, I like what Gay said a lot. It, it really describes a process. Yeah. It's not an arrival point. Discipleship, um, it, it implies there is a point at which we all arrive. But the model is, I'm learning. And that, that would be the perfect disciple in the New Testament. Mm -hmm.